822 had happened just this week due to bad weather. All kinds of people were stranded at Philadelphia International Airport. Now, even if you don't end up having to sleep at the airport, even if this is just for a few hours, it helps to have everything you need in your carry-on. And if you're traveling anytime soon, Chanel has some news you can use this morning. Chanel? Yes, I have the news with the help of Jennifer Dantes from VIP Vacations. Thank you for coming in this morning. Thank you. All right, so you're showing us an airport survival bag, what we need to have in it. And Jen showed us at the top of the 8 o'clock hour. The bag is really cute. It's not, you know, a lot of people are trying to pack light, and they think, that they can't bring what they need. Right. But and you can fit it. You can. A lot of people now figure, oh, i got to pay for a suitcase. I might as well just bring something light with me. Mm -hmm. But when you check your suitcase in, whether you know your flight's delayed or not, you check it in, you say goodbye to it until you arrive at the next destination you were supposed to go to. So you're stuck at the airport because the flight's either canceled or delayed, or you know you've been waiting for a plane to arrive. Yep. So what can you bring with you that can pass the time away, or God forbid you're sent to a hotel overnight? So I have some stuff here that can actually fit in this. Okay. You know, so you don't have to carry a super big bag with you. Let's take this a step at a time. The first okay. one you say a cell phone charger, computer charger. Chargers are key. Right, <laughs> and so many people pack them in their suitcase. Case. Yeah, you're right. But if you're a business traveler and you're stranded for six or seven hours, what do you do? So your your car, your your charger for your cell phone, your charger for your computer. That's always good to make sure you keep it in your carry-on with you. And we should mention these are things you should write down so that way when you're rushing out the door at the last second to get to the airport, you say, okay, I've got this little checklist here. So you've right. got that. Next, you say these travel pillows. Do you like these? A lot of people do like these. I like these because the airlines no longer provide one pillow for everybody. And if you have almost made that connection, you know you're running through the airport because the original flight you were on was delayed mm -hmm. and you just make that connection you can't do what Jen Frederick does and clip one out of first class that's Be what I do on the way to right <laughs> you should bring your own and an interesting thing is the planes right now that are sitting on the runway are not being heated while they're on the runway they're trying to conserve fuel so they're also cold mm -hmm. so it's always good to bring your own blanket okay um, airports are cold, too. The next thing that we want to talk about is some of the essentials that, okay, you know you're going to bring your prescriptions, leave your prescriptions right. in your carry-on, but what about the headaches you get when you're at an airport? So make sure you bring some medications, too, stuff that okay. you might not necessarily be able to buy if your plane was late, delayed, and the airlines are coming in really late at night and all of the stores are closed. Not to mention, you know, you have all these things at home, Tylenol, Advil, and then you go to the, you know, you have to buy it in the store and it'll cost you ten times more. I mean, you already have some at home, so it's smart. Right. Um, this is interesting. You say to bring an empty water bottle. Why is why? Obviously, you can't take water on a plane, but right. why just an empty bottle? Well, you know, you can get through security with an empty water bottle. And if you are really late and it is at night and the stores are closed, you can fill it up with uh, from the water fountain. Also, it takes about an hour before the flight attendants will actually serve you any water. Mm -hmm. So it's always good to have that with you because you go through security, you fill it up, and you don't have to spend the $3. Or if the vending machines are you know closed or the stores are closed, you, know, you can at least have some water on the flight. And I always say, too, to bring some snacks because the airlines are not giving Tell you anything or this will be like twelve dollars right anyway. <laughs> right and uh, you know what this is a big thing our business travelers will call us and they will say my flight's canceled what can you get me on uh -huh. and I'll say grab a pen this is the next flight mm -hmm. and nobody carries a pen or a pad with you anymore and then of course to pass the time a book a magazine you know I always have my laptop with me as well yeah. okay. so and it all fits in this bag with smart with a brush oh and a toothbrush that's smart too because when you go if you're going to check in at um, a hotel because your flight's canceled and maybe the airlines will put you up they give you the shampoo they give you the soap but do they ever give you a toothbrush no. Sure. So I actually bought one of these at an airport a couple of years ago. It has a little thing of toothpaste in it, I'm and it's a toothbrush. It. Yeah, and a brush. There you go. Your survival guide right here. Jennifer yep. Donchez, as always, thank you. Thank you.